using a projector to paint murals. Is that cheating? Hi, my name is Corrado. I'm from Toronto, Canada, and I've been painting murals for over 25 years now. Do I ever use a projector? Yeah, I use it a lot of the times. Why do I use a projector? Do I not know how to draw on the wall? I can draw on the wall, but I'm going to show you why I use a projector a lot of the times. Okay, here's my projector. Yes, it's really old. I bought this in the 90s and it still works, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, of course, a lot of times, uh, painting, I've heard over the years, oh, you're using a projector, that's cheating. Well, no, it isn't. So, this is the main reason why I choose to use a projector rather than drawing it on the wall, which is going to take longer, because... Look at this, I can move it anywhere I want, I can make it bigger, smaller, with the customer there, this is very important. I could spend a long time drawing this on the wall, the customer could say, oh that looks awesome, oh but you know what, There's a, the bed is going to be over there, can you just move it over three inches? Well, this is why I use a projector, so it's not cheating, it's just a tool. Also, the projector is not always perfect. Sometimes you'll have to make adjustments, but this is just a guide. It's a line drawing. I'm gonna have the line drawn, uh, and then I can paint it. Other methods you can use, you can use a grid method. There's the doodle grid. Um, and yeah, a lot of times, sometimes I don't need a projector. I can just draw it right on the wall. Um, but if you're doing a face or a likeness, or there's a, it's a big wall with certain proportions you wanna keep, a projector is often the best way to do it. These are the finished murals. Um, each one was drawn on a separate piece. Uh, that was all approved by the customer. And the room came out great. You could probably hear the dogs barking. It's for a vet hospital. So using a projector is not cheating. Don't let anybody say that. If they're trying to be funny, just make a fake laugh. That's fine. Um, does anybody tell a carpenter not to use a table saw or a circular saw or a power saw? Do they want them to use a hand saw? No, it's just a tool of the trade. Um, a lot of the major muralists that do the huge ones that I was inspired in the 90s used them in Toronto. And if they use them, it's more than good enough for me. So the end product is what matters. Time is money and your customers will appreciate it.